The 2017 total solar eclipse is quickly approaching. I'm meteorologist and tech scout Matt Sanderson here to break down some of the fast facts, history, and future impacts from these events and how they're going to affect the U.S. Now, first of all, 1991, that was the last time we had a total solar eclipse over U.S. soil. But that was also out in Hawaii. Now, the last time we had a total solar eclipse over the U.S. mainland was 1979. Now, back then, things were much different technology-wise than what you're seeing right now. Back then in 79, the utility scale PV generation really was close to zero. Whereas now, the utility scale PV electrical generation is a much different story. So we're going to talk more about that in a bit, along with facts history and some of the impacts. Stay with us. Monday's total solar eclipse will be the first to hit the U.S. in the era of solar energy. Let's put this into focus. In California, the state with the most solar electricity generation, the eclipse will simultaneously reduce solar electricity generation while also boosting net demand as users turn on lighting to compensate for darkness. State regulators estimate that the eclipse's shadow effect alone will decrease power by 5,611 megawatts. That's roughly enough to instantaneously power as many as 6 million homes. Back in 2016, solar power in the U.S. represented 0.90% of all electricity generation. That may not sound like much, but that 2016 number is nearly double from the number in 2015, where we are looking at 0.61%. The U.S. Energy Information Administration, also known as EIA, currently projects solar generation to approximately double by 2025. Meanwhile, a more aggressive projection has been made by Energy, Innovation Policy, and Technology LLC, where the think tank is stating that numbers will surge to four times current levels by 2025. Our next total solar eclipse is slated for 2024, where the path of totality will include Texas, Ohio, and areas in the state of New York. Both total solar eclipses this year and in 2024 will affect DOD base and facility electricity use, also known as installation energy, which accounts for 29% of DOD's total energy use. The DOD has been making progress in meeting self-imposed and legislative mandates to increase solar generation. In 2016, the DoD consumed 1.5 million megawatt hours from renewable sources. 22% of that was solar. Growth in DoD renewable energy production is evident as solar share of all DoD renewable energy production jumped from 15% in the 2015 FY to 22% in the 2016 FY. In the 2016 FY, while we're on that topic, the DoD installed 1,361 energy projects on installations that included solar power. Many of these will be significantly affected by the 2017 total solar eclipse, including Fort Detrick, who in February of just this year installed an array of solar PV panels for 15 megawatts. Fort Detrick will witness at minimum 80% sunlight obscured by the eclipse at the time of maximum obscuration. For any event, especially the events that are predictable like the 2017 total solar eclipse, it comes down to planning ahead and being prepared. Now we know we're going to lose a short period of time to generate power from the sun. That's okay, because this event will be unforgettable, it will offer an opportunity for you, family and friends to get outside and create memories that will last a lifetime. So get outside, be safe, and don't forget to follow us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, and also LinkedIn. Have a great day.